Hello there, um, this is the fourth video of the web cache deception playlist. As I said, I'll be covering all the ports figure labs one by one. Here we are with the fourth lab in which we're going to cover exploiting cache server normalization for web cache deception. So in the last video, we talked about exploiting static directory cache rules where if a static directory is getting cached but a dynamic endpoint is not getting cached you can create your cache key in a way that can make the dynamic endpoint cache it as well so if you don't know about it you should watch the previous video from the i button otherwise let's move on with this one okay so here we have the lab i already logged in with weiner and peter kretz and we have the api key as you can see so let's capture this request in burp suite intercept on reload the page and here we have the request so let's send this to repeater and send the request okay so this is a dynamic endpoint and the api key is being reflected in the response as you can see but we have to try to cache it to exploit web cache deception but this is not actually getting cached as you can see there is no sign of caching through any headers let's turn this off in the http history we can see that there are some endpoints that are actually getting cached like this one the resources so this resources directory seems to be containing static files like svg png or images file so this is getting cached as we are seeing this header if you can find a particular directory that is getting cached you can use it to create a cache key to cache the dynamic endpoint as well so we're going to use this resources keyword somehow to cache this my account endpoint as well so let's try with the basics by trying the most common payload which is this so let's send this request and as you can see there is no sign of caching means we have to use that resources keyword let's type resources here and send the request and it says 404 not found let's try adding something else in the request like the delimiter we added first which is the question mark and again it says 404 not found means this thing is not working maybe we can try adding the resources keyword after the main endpoint so let's add something like this resources send the request and again 404 not found okay now let's try to add the question mark and then resources dot slash dot slash and some random file that actually doesn't exist but we are going to just try it and this time we are getting 200 okay okay so what's happening here is the caching server is thinking that this is a static resource for example as.js is a file that doesn't exist but the server assumes that it is a static resource because of this resource word and this .js extension but the origin server is ignoring this whole thing the origin server thinks okay it's a slash my account endpoint and let's just give back the response that contains the api key so this is how they both get confused i hope you're getting it but we're still not getting any cache header we want some particular cache header to confirm that this is getting cached Till now, we just know that the server, the origin server and the caching server is getting confused and we are getting this response. So this is the first step to success. So the second thing you can do is you can try URL encoding. Percent 2F for forward slash, then percent 2E for dot. Let's just copy this and paste it here again let's try this maybe it will work and it didn't work so we can try using some other delimiter instead of question mark let's use semicolon because i talked about delimiters in my previous video as well you should definitely check that out 
Okay, this is literally giving 404. Let's try the URL encoded form of question mark that is percent 3F. Send the request and we're getting 200 okay, but this is still not working. So let's try some other delimiter. We have hash. So that goes for percent. Um, let me just Google it up. <laughs> okay, it's actually percent 23. Let's send the request again. This seems to be working, but we're still not getting any X cache header in the response. Means we need to work a bit more on this. So yeah, we can use hash. Let's keep it there, but let's modify the rest of the payload. So let's just copy it. And in the decoder, I'm going to paste it. So the resource was before the dot slash payload. Let's put it after the dot slash payload means like this. Okay, now let's replace this whole value with this. Send the request again. And this is working as well. Now, the next step is to add some other values. Let's say this question mark QA. Not working. Let's change this to percent to F. Sorry to break this down for you, but this is how you actually have to test in real world bug hunting. Percent to E for dot and again percent to F for slash. So everything is URL encoded now. Okay. Now we can see this is still not working before you get frustrated. Let me tell you another trick so before we were adding only one dot you can add two dots which is i think more effective and i forgot to add it so instead of person 2 f i'm just going to change it to person 2 e so let me just show you how this looks like in the right hand side you can see hash dot dot slash resources question mark qa so this is our payload right now let's send this oh my god are we missing something let's add another slash over here so that would be percent to f let me show you again how this looks like so we have hash forward slash dot dot forward slash resources and the delimiter that is question mark and some random value send this request and this time, finally, we are getting X cache header. This says bis. If you send this again, it will say hit. Now, let's just copy this URL and we can test this in incognito mode or you can also try it in a different browser. So if we open this up, you can see that this page is now cached with the particular key. Now, all we have to do is do a little bit more modification. Let's just change the value to w now we have a fresh cache key all we have to do is deliver this to victim to solve the lab let's go back here and go to exploit server and over here we have to add our payload so let's type our script tags real quick And we will say window dot location equals paste the URL. Make sure the URL is not used. It should be a fresh cache key. Let's store it and deliver the exploit to victim. Now let's just wait for three seconds. And let's open up that URL in a new tab. So now we can see the Carlos API key is cached for this particular endpoint. And here we have the API key. Let's copy it. And this solved the lab. Okay, guys, I didn't want to make a video where I just copy the payload, paste it in the repeater and show you, okay, now it's getting cached. I wanted to show you that how to actually approach it, how to try different payloads and a little bit of frustration as well. <laughs>
So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.